and picking up yet another character as per usual. You know, every week comes through with someone fresh. Yeah, that's sort of his thing, and he's been making it work with this Rosalina, especially customs too. Uh, yeah, he's using that Luma shot, that Luma teleport, all sorts of good stuff. Already, he's got average Joe in a pretty bad situation. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, just putting anyone over you with you know, with uh, Luma is just or Rosalina Luma is just a bad situation for whoever you're playing. Uh, I. Oh my god, he's actually about to finish his stock. <laughs> he's just gonna get him with six bears and that'll be it. I'm trying to figure out like if, if Joe can like uh start an up B as he's getting hit and just trade with it. Or, or if he's even trying or the up airs are actually just true combos, because I mean oh there we go, finally give himself some damage in the air. And finishing Luma too. There we go, the little coup d'etat. And they're just resetting to neutral. And the thing that Smash Guy's been doing is when he doesn't have Luma, he'll just be super patient. He'll wait it out. As he's not doing anything crazy. Get up air yet again. Oh, okay. Four there to put him off stage. So, I, I do like that option that Smash got for. He hasn't hit anyone with it yet, mm -hmm. but it definitely still puts the pressure out there just to have Luma just floating, floating around. And it's so quick too that teleport. I mean, yeah. Luma just appears there, and look, he just throws it, gets gets the the something right there, and knock DK straight up. Yeah, that was up air from both. Yeah, up air from both of them. So, and now DK just kind of swinging, trying to give himself some start right here. He got the full rage though. So, I mean, honestly. Oh. The Falco lasers. <laughs> Don't shield any of those. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> trying to get some extra rage as if his rage didn't cap. Oh, oh. my. And there it is. As you said, man, just, it, was like, it was like perfect distance. Warp in, up smash. Yeah, it's so fast. And now Rosalina. I mean, she's light and really floaty, so she can die to something crazy at 78%. But, I mean, Smash God's going to get a chance to put on some good damage before he goes down. I'm definitely liking these confirms right now that uh, Smash God's trying to do with these uh, Luma warps. I mean, this is set distance, so like, it's no surprise to him, which also means it's no surprise to the opponent. But uh, it's still catching average average Joe off guard. Oh, damage. He's going to punish that up. Oh, he didn't get the upper after that up throw. Interesting. Yeah, that's a decent option, too, by uh, Average Joe to try to come down with that uh, that super punch. Actually would have, if he, if he had got hit, he would have powered through it. So, smart. It's like a one-time thing, but, right. you know, still smart. He's going to come in with that Kong cycle and just clipping Rosalina out of the air. That might be the answer when she's above him. Oh, oh my. my. What? <laughs> he went fly. I don't know if he like footstooled or if that's how high Rosalina's up he actually goes. That was silly. Well, yeah, that's a regular up B right there. That definitely is it. The regular up B. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's standard up B. Wow. I'm pretty sure the, the wind probably pushed him too. Because sometimes yeah. if you try to do something out of that, you're like all over the place. Another wind call right there on the ground, almost finishing with that one. Good, a good comeback from uh, Average Joe. Almost got it again. Oh! oh, and he got Luma with it, and the back throw will do it. And Average Joe brings it back. Good stuff right there. I mean, that first stock did not look good for him at all. Yeah, he no. just managed it. You know, he buckled down. So good stuff. I mean, I also, also, man, you know, Duncan's just strong. So <laughs> all of, every hit he gets, uh, yeah. he's putting in big damage. So good he stuff. He gets one or two hits, and that's stock. And that's how we lost uh, stock number one as well. I mean, Smash God was at like 73 and took like three hits. Yeah. And it was just a read on an air dodge, ate a back air, and he was dead. So game two, counterpick to Town and City. Gives him a bit more space as Rosalina. I know he really likes the space. His, his answer to most people today have been like, if he loses, he's like, I'm just going to camp you harder. Like, <laughs> Okay, good stuff right there using the uh, old jabs. That actually, the Luma jab is uh, deceptively good in the game. I mean, not even like Rosalina's jab is the one that kills, like if you actually hit the last hit, but right. Luma's jab is people are like gentlemen with it, and you're just like, you're just stuck in that pressure unless you roll out. So It l feels like it sticks out further than like even like Luma's supposed to. Yeah. And then it's like, even if you like find something to challenge, it's like you're only hitting Luma. Yeah, you're, you're not like, achieving anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so damage, damage on Luma as well. You fi eventually get him out, but like that's, you know, unless you're hitting Luma off or, uh, earlier percent some trades like that, you definitely, uh, it's definitely not the greatest of trades. And the upy on stage gets punished. No auto cancel there. Uh, Trying to get him again. Yeah. Oh, Luma's gonna be gone right there. He actually didn't even. All right, <laughs> not even necessary. Luma definitely gone, and he's gonna take that punish for that one. And he keeps trying to punish this auto cancel, and average Joe's all over it. It's like, all right, you're gonna come in with this grab, and I'm just gonna roll away every time. And Luma comes back. Oh. Looking for the back airs right there. Uh, okay, well, Luma's gone. So, yeah, yeah that once was again, quick. I mean, it's always good to get Luma out there. I, I like to see people try to kind of treat this like a uh, ice conference matchup. Right. If you do want to get rid of the partner. I mean, it's only 13 seconds, but 13 seconds is valuable in this game. So, like, five minutes, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a decent amount of time. Or six minutes, sorry. Oh, and he gets that up B from behind, but no, he's going to punish it. Can he get this edge guard? And he does yes. with the down air. Takes the first stock, just like game one. Good stuff right there by Smash God. However, man, he's got 100% on him right now, so I mean, uh, 
A lot of moves from DK can go ahead and take the stock. Oh, he just jabbed it. You were talking about that Luma jab. Mm -hmm. Just jabbed him out of Kong Cyclone, of all things. Oh, yeah. Just like right when it started, he's like, nope, none of that. Kind of reaching for right there. Gets the Kong Cyclones. Not enough to finish yet, though. Surprising. And he's just waiting to back air. That's all he does is he's like, I'm going to fall with you, and if at any point you hit a button, you're just going to eat this back air. Uh, I'm, I'm I think that was a pivot. Pretty yeah. sure that was a pivot grab that he was going for. Yeah. You know, every now and then, like, the imp that you get out is actually a pivot up tilt. I hate it. <laughs> it's the worst. It's yeah. the worst. I think it's it's continuing the tradition of uh, the Z button not actually being a grab button. It's actually just shield and A, yeah. a frame apart. Good S smash from Smash God, punishing that landing. He tries to Luma warp, but the platform came in the way. Oh, wow. The pressure from Luma behind him is actually F smashing back to get Luma. Ooh! Oh! Grab release what? setups? <laughs> Welcome to Brawl. Grab release to death. That was dope. <laughs> I was, I'll give him that one. That was dope. Grab release setup into uh, Luma F smash right yep. there. Uh, handoffs, basically. <laughs> a little ba. <laughs> get him out of here. I like it. Oh, uh, that, was, that was cute. So we're going to game three. Uh, Average Joe versus Smash God. Smash God uh, making it happen on this. Uh, I don't think he comes here very often. Uh, Smash God, well, he, they've been coming out a lot more often. But you know how yeah. you know how it is with the VG boys. Like they got a, uh, they got school. Right. So more often than that, you won't see them throughout the year. But uh, during the summer, you see them quite a bit. The uh, only reason June's probably not here is because uh, he's at his job selling tubs. Yep, tubs for sale. Tubs for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Smash God advertising for June. Get June some money. Yeah, well, we should have just had the name of a store. <laughs> some of them are like, what's that? Oh, that's the store that June works at, where he sells tubs. There's going to be all these like comments on some of the other matches that Smash God plays on YouTube. It's going to be like, what? why is it tubs for sale? Is he a tub salesman? <laughs> he sells tubs and tubs accessories. <laughs> <laughs> like the, like the, the, uh, the casing and whatnot, the all casing. that stuff. The shower walls. <laughs> oh, man. So I mean I wonder I wonder what like when I see uh people when I'm seeing him watching watching him play um Rosalina right now I wonder I kind of wonder what like the buzz would use as a custom set you know like if it's very similar to this one oh so the fox I don't I don't know if he meant to pick fox yeah because I playing fox he's going fox okay the only character I know that he uses as a secondary outside of this character is uh Ryu but I know that's just kind of like his Joe character so like I I, don't, I wouldn't expect him to pull Ryu out against Rosalina of all people anyway however man uh. I think a sure you can would definitely serve some justice to uh, to Luma. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Under the chin. instant kill, like bah, get out of here. I'm, oh, but he, so he goes to his favorite stage, but he's staying. He's going Fox. I'm honestly very surprised in this choice, but we'll see how it pays off for him. Instantly reflecting, expecting the Luma shot. Yeah, I mean it's a good read, but I, I I'm not even sure if that was gonna like really pay off. Luma was in front of him at the time, so it would have just hit Luma. For like a four damage, it's decent, I guess. Either way, I mean, he's not really getting the percent lead off any of his exchanges right now. Just kind of getting scooped up as he's trying to get back to the ground, as it always happens. I mean, people air yep. dodge trying to get back, and uh, Rosalina's just there floating around, waiting for you to air dodge to hit you with another up air. Not to mention, Fox, of course, is the that fast faller type stuff. So he's he's kind of not even going that far whenever Smash God lands in the air. So it's yeah. a lot easier to get that follow up. Oh yeah, and we'll see if that comes into play. I mean, so far, Smash Guy doing a great job in this matchup. All right, and that was Joe's first, like, real damage right there. He couldn't even capitalize off it because he was so close to the edge of the stage. Oh. <laughs> Both of them doing some wonky stuff right there. Looking for the back air. Oh, wow, Luma just going to break that up real quick. Did not manage to actually get Luma off. He got him on the up tilt. I think he wanted the back air to try to at least put her in the water. But uh, Luma's uh, off over the damage cap, so that's good for him at the least. Yeah, he's got a few seconds to just focus on Rosalina by herself. But the platform comes up just in the nick of time to help Smash God get that combo. Oh. Uh, ledge Trump back air. Oh, we're actually going to recover over him in the, the squat of him getting, uh, getting the up B on the stage. I actually got him under that grab. A full spot dodge, if you will. <laughs> squat oh. dodge. Squat I like dodge. that. <laughs> I like that. A squat dodge. Oh. As, either way, Smash God is taking that first stock, and now he's going to, I guess, do this for the rest of the match. Like, <laughs> Wow. All right. Well, I mean, this is the this is what happens when you pick the stage, basically. You give people that opportunity to do something like that. Yep. And just going to jab that shield. Ooh, interesting. Side B in neutral. I mean, it's a really good move for Fox if you uh, do it like the in, like the instant side B is like from Brawl. I mean, it's nearly right. as quick as 
brawl, but like uh, with Fox, it's way quicker than when Falco does it. So he like gets out of it, and they always like either neutral air or like up tilt right after right. dash attack, just anything. So. That sounded like Luma Ooh. dying. Yes, it was. But still two stocks for Smash God. Finally, the up smash comes through, and that'll do it. So it's one stock apiece. And he's still in it. I mean, he hasn't even hit Rage yet. 43%, so. Oh, there we go. Oh, my God. That almost killed. Yeah, that was so close. That, that up air has some weird properties, and it can kill mad early if you're not careful. Yeah, it has, like, a weird... It doesn't have, like, set knockback, but, like, the knockback growth isn't that big. Right. And the knockback beginning of it is huge. So, right. so like, it are, it, you can get kills, like, at 30% and stuff. It's crazy. Oh. All right, that's a, little, that's a little wild. Yeah. And that'll do it. Average Joe, I don't think, meant to drop down there and was forced to re-grab the ledge, and that was it. So unfortunate. Right. He said himself he didn't know why he dropped off this. Yeah. So unfortunate, right? When, right when you drop off and then you remember what game you're playing. Yep. <laughs> like, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to have, I think this winner's finals right here, because that was definitely uh, semis, so. All right. Yeah, winner's finals between, uh, you know, Xanadu Legends, as per usual, yep. a boss and uh, Seagull. Seagull. Yeah, I'm, I'm stealing squat dodge. Squat dodge, yeah. <laughs> stealing that. That's so, uh, that's I should have so been smart. calling that for, like, Gamer's been doing that. Me and Gamer have been doing that for a year, like, a long time. <laughs> Both our characters have super low ducks, and nobody right. never said anything about it. So, well. Well, I've been doing the, the unpunishable. Yeah, the old <laughs> unpunishable. Oh, <the, laughs> well, you try to grab that with any character? Doesn't matter. Doesn't, doesn't work. Doesn't matter. Not even Pikachu can grab another Pikachu. Nope. <laughs> After a bit, and by, if you didn't know, the unpunishable is the back air. It's short hop back air, which is you land flat, you pancake, mm -hmm. and then everyone tries to grab it, and that doesn't work. There's a bunch of like uh, videos out about like the lowest uh, duck and stuff. Leaf Trainer actually has the lowest duck in the game, which is surprising. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wonder, I wish they would do the uh, research on if uh, the unpunishable is actually lower than that. I don't think it feels. Like